Hi, kindergarten friends. We're gonna do some more writing today. So we've been doing lots of writing. We've been doing writing on Zoom. Yesterday we wrote some Halloween sentences. Um, now today, the writing I want you guys to do is um, to write all by yourselves. It's called a writing sample. So if you guys go to your blue folder, you don't have to worry about these pages falling out because they're hooked together with the paper fasteners there. Um, and if you guys remember, I've explained it a few times, but I put this letter in there and it explains how I do the writing samples. So we do a lot of different kind of writing in kindergarten. A lot of it is called guided writing. And that is when um, I write with the kids. So I might put some things on the board or we build uh, sentences in the pocket chart like we did yesterday. Um, and then I write along with them. On Zoom, I'm doing guided writing. Okay, and the guided writing is the best because I'm teaching as I'm doing it. I'm saying, let's start with a capital letter. Let's put two finger space. Um, we'll sound out words. I'll hold up the sight word cards. Okay, but um, it's also good to let the kids just write for fun where you're not always having to correct them or say, oh, you forgot a capital letter or let's put two finger space because that way I can see how they're writing without parent help, without teacher help. So it's, I think it's hard, it's, 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 it's kind of hard for me to do in the classroom. I know it's hard for you guys to do parents because you know, you're wanting them to, you, you're wanting them to do it correctly. You want them to do it the right way. Uh, and some kids have a hard time just letting themselves go. They want it to be perfect, but it's only once a month that I want you to do this or whenever you just want to write for fun. Um, but it's important because I want to see how they're writing without help. I want to see if they're able to put their line, their, their letters on the right lines, if they remember to start with a capital, if they're remembering spaces. And it's kind of exciting because uh, in August, a lot of kids just kind of pushed everything together. And in September, um, it was a little bit better. But October, the writing will probably be even just a little bit better because we have been doing a lot on Zoom, right? Okay, so in that folder, in the blue folder, we did a writing sample for August. We did a writing sample for September. So you're gonna turn to the October page. Now the date stamp says October 28th, which was yesterday. Don't worry about that. I always just do it the last week of school. And I wanted to get in one more guided writing before I have them do this writing uh, without any help. Now in the classroom, I would show the kids some words, right? Um, we always have posters for the month in there. They're much, much bigger. This is just a small one. But just talk about some words for October. Um, we've used these on the little cards too. There's pumpkin and candy, bat, candy corn, spider, uh, cat right here. And then the word October is up here. Um, I also have October on the calendar. And if we were in the classroom, of course, they would be able to look up there. So some of them might want to write the word October. I've seen some of your uh, work areas at your house because I can see them in Zoom. And some of you guys have really nice little desk areas. I'm thinking of Jocelyn, but there's a lot of people who have them uh, with calendars above their workspace. So if your child can find the word October, um, you don't have to spell it for them, let them do it. But I don't want you to give your child too much help, okay? So let's just pretend that I'm five or six years old and I don't want everything perfect because if it's perfect, then I'm gonna think that, oh boy, I bet the parents helped them with it, okay? So we're trying to see what they can do by themselves. Okay, now what we could do, if your child just wants to write some sentences like they did yesterday, you know, in October, I see black cats, I see ghosts, I see pumpkins. They could do that, or they could say, look at the pumpkin, uh, um, look at the ghost, look at the spider, okay? Those are called pattern sentences. If you're doing the same thing over and over, I see a cat, I see a bat, I see a spider, I see a pumpkin, that's a pattern sentence. If you're saying, look at the cat, look at the bat, look at the pumpkin. That's a pattern. They're doing the same thing over and over. Or they could mix it up a little bit, right? Trying to use their sight words. So I'm gonna do one that might be a little harder, but I'm gonna start my story with, in October, I like to see pumpkins and ghosts. Or in October, I like to see black cats and black bats, okay? So I'm gonna start with in. Now that we haven't had it yet, but you can sound it out, in, in. And I'm just gonna write down here on the lines, in. And then October, I can either look 
on my poster or on the calendar. So that, if your child spells that correctly, I'll know they probably looked at it and that's fine as long as they can find it, right? Without asking. All right, so I'm gonna go October and October starts with a capital O, but you don't really have to remind your child because I just wanna see what they know right now at this point. Now also, you may tell your child, hey, if you wanna use a stick to put spaces between your words, you can. You might tell them, hey, you gotta put two finger space between your words, but I don't want you to tell them every single word. Put a space, put a space. I wanna see if they can do it, okay? See what they can do without a lot of help. In October, and um, I'm gonna put a little space there. In October, I, I'm gonna say I like. Now, like is gonna be our new sight word. So the kids might not know how to spell it, but they can go, oh, I, k. I'm gonna spell it like this, I, like, now they might not know how to spell two, but they could either guess or sound it out, two. And I'm gonna say C, and then I'm gonna say pumpkins. Now, you guys probably don't have that poster there, so I'm just gonna spell pumpkin, p p p. I like to see p, uh, uh, pump, k, k, i, i, pumpkins. I like to see pumpkins, and you haven't had that sight word yet, so I'm just gonna sound it out. And and then maybe I'll say pumpkins and ghosts. G g g o s ghosts. I like to see pumpkins and ghosts. And then at the end of the sentence, they put a period, in that, and and some of them will just do it automatically, and some will not. Parents, I don't want you to say put a period there. Let's just see what they can do. Now that would be one sentence, right? That would be one sentence. But if you can, you could write some more. How about, um, I like to look at spiders. I like, or I like to see would be fine. I like to see. Now some of these are sight words and you might remember them. I like to see spiders. Sp I -ers. Now if you want a tough one, if you want a hard one, how about I love Halloween. I... I use a capital letter when I write the word I love. You might not know how to spell it. I'm gonna teach you a little song though coming up soon. Uh, but right now, let's just sound it out. Love. A few kids might know how to spell it. Halloween, okay, Halloween. I know it starts with our letter that we did last week. Ha, ha, Halloween. Ha, a, a, la, o, wa, wa, e. Now, if you look at mine, parents, it is not perfect. It is not perfect. Now. Okay, and I, I'm not, I don't even wanna show you word for word there. So I might have a few spaces and maybe I don't have spaces somewhere. I might not have all my periods and my words are not spelled uh, perfectly. Now, if that's even too hard for your child, if they're not quite there yet, like putting together complete sentences, they might just wanna stick to a pattern like, I see a cat, I see a bat. Try using the color word, I see a black Cat, B-L-A-C-K spells black. Maybe you want to throw a color word in here. I see an orange pumpkin, O-R-A-N-G-E. So you could do that and then definitely draw a picture to go with it. So my story, I says pumpkins on there. So I'm going to make some pumpkins. Now I could turn them into jack-o'-lanterns, even though I didn't say jack-o'-lantern. Uh, you know what? Maybe I'll just leave them pumpkins and not put the faces on because my story says pumpkins, not jack-o'-lanterns. And then I say I see some spiders. So I could put a couple of spiders dangling down. And then mine also says, I see, I'm gonna make this one upside down. <laughs> I'll show you that later. Okay, and I'm gonna put the eight legs on. And then I also say I see ghosts. So I'll put some ghosts in my picture. Okay, I might erase one of these spiders and put it in goat. I didn't say anything about bats, but I could have, right? And I said, I love Halloween, so I'm gonna put a ghost here. Now I'm gonna color this and I will take a picture of it and put it on the assignment page so you can see it. My ghost is gonna say B-O-O, -O, boo. Who did I see that? I think Addison, I saw that on her shirt. I think it was Addison. All right, so I'm gonna color that up. I'm gonna finish my spiders. I've got my pumpkins down here. Make sure you draw a picture to go with your story. Remember parents, not too much help, okay? Uh, we're gonna do another one on Monday, but Monday, 
uh, the parents will be writing it because it's more of a dictation. So we do lots of different kinds of writing. We could do guided writing and dictation. And this is, a, I would call it creative writing using invented spelling. Let the kids sound out their own words. Okay, if they know how to spell the sight words, awesome. If not, they just put the letters that they know. Um, I'm anxious to see those. And we'll be doing another one at the end of November and another one at the end of December. And then hopefully we'll be back in school, right? Okay, so remember this is a writing sample, okay? I want the kids to write as much as they can about the month of October. Oh, if you don't wanna write about Halloween, you don't have to. Peyton, your birthday was in October. If you wanna write, in October, I had a birthday and I turned six. But make sure you're sounding out the words. Don't have mommy and daddy help you spell, okay, everybody? Okay, let's see how you're sounding out and doing invented spelling. Okay, good job. Bye-bye.